Start over. <laughs> this is episode number 88 of Bizarre Shopping Network, and my name is Kim, and you're probably wondering, where the heck are we? Because it's not our normal set that we use. But I have a special guest with me today, Brian, Hi. who is going to help me today not only explain about what what is all going on here, but why? So first of all, I want to say hi to Brian. Hi, Kim. And thanks for joining of us course. today. Of course, happy to be here. Tell us about your day job. Okay, so I am production coordinator at the Player Center for Performing Arts. So I run a lot of the auditions or post-mortems, make sure productions are running smoothly. I also do their social media. You're a busy guy and you did yeah. just get and promoted. And I teach classes at the Player Studio, so you should take classes there. Oh yeah, tap dancing. Yeah best tap dance teacher ever. I don't know that personally because I'm too embarrassed to try, but learn how to tap dance with Brian, all ages, right? Yep. All levels, all, all ages. ages. Yep. And um, you're quite a prolific actor even here on our stages here, and I have a few pictures That's that I wanted great. to share. So this mm. was the, oh, my mom's saying I look gorgeous. Oh, she's Or maybe right. that's you. Yes, yeah, try talking to me. <laughs> so this is Brian and Amanda on their very first show, yeah. I think, that they did here. What was that called again? Uh, the Spooky Horror Picnic Show. And that was so amazing. And I think I'm going in the right order. You are. This is Brian and Luke's amazing, terrific, jaw-dropping, fantastic, spectacular, tremendous, excessive live holiday jamboree. Which y'all wrote and starred in. We did. Fun. And then, aww, aww, this is from when I was Farquaad in Shrek the Musical, which we did here, outside. And... Here's me looking really great <laughs> in Sylvia, which I, I, was a Player was, Center production. I love that show. It and was this, fun. You actually played a couple characters in that, this is the same show. I did, yep. And finally, <laughs> da da da! You were our awesome, amazing Santa Claus. So you are just, you're kind of like an unofficial, no, you're an official part of the Bizarre family because you're here just as yeah, much as that's the rest true. of us. Can't get rid of me. So tell me, your day job is Player Center, mm -hmm. but you also have this new involvement with a production company called Dingbat Project. Dingbat Theater <laughs> Project. <laughs> I saw you looking at And, um, Tell us a little bit about that. How did that come okay, about? Cool. So when, you know, the p pandemic was just kind of creeping on us, Luke wanted to create a way to do safe theater and with small casts and reinventing shows. And he had this great idea and he had this name and he came to me and was like, hey, Brian, do you want to, you know, do a Christmas show with me? And we were looking at, you know, actually we were looking at a Tuna Christmas, which is greater Tuna, but the Christmas version. And we were running low on time, and I was like, what if we just, like, let's just write a show. I don't remember. That could have been his idea. I'm sorry. I, one of us credit. was like, He's let's do a here. show. He's not here. You can say I credit. was like, let's do a show. And Luke was like, okay, Brian, whatever you say. So we did our Christmas show, and then we did Trek, and now we're doing Hedwig, and it's just been really, really great. And um, so, so Hedwig. Hedwig, yeah. Let's talk about Hedwig and why you put me in this lovely outfit. She was begging to put Song. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, because everybody wants to wear a mullet yeah. and look beautiful, right? Yeah. Um, I actually forced Amanda to wear a mullet and headwig, and everybody was like, why are you making her wear a mullet? And then she wore it, and they were like, that looks awesome. So, and I was like, I don't know. Brian's not giving himself <laughs> enough credit, so the show that's coming up, Hedwig, it opens tomorrow, he directed it, mm -hmm. you did all the costumes, yeah. the scenic design, mm -hmm. so it's a lot. It's a lot. Um. I don't know if they can fully, from this one shot, capture what has, how you have transformed this room. This will eventually be our inside dining for Hamlet's Eatery, but mm -hmm. it's really now Dingbat's home, and they, um, they're they also doing Spongebob in the, um, yeah. December, but right now it has been transformed into this amazing show, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Yeah. Tell us, really briefly because we don't want to give too much away right. about the show okay so it's set up as like a stand-up comedy slash rock concert slash biography slash lots of distractions and craziness and costume changes and wig changes and it's a lot of fun so it's basically 
it's a complicated story, so I'm going to try to do it quickly and mature audiences appropriately. Yes, mature audiences, lots of language, lots of sexual situations, situations. So just be ready for that. But it's basically about this person who came to America and had to do some very difficult things to do so, um, and now that they're here, um, they met someone were romantically involved with this person. That person has left and taken all of their, Hedwig creates music and stuff like that. So they've taken all of that, taken all the branding, all of that stuff, and are now very successful. They happen to be very successful right across the way on the outdoor stage at the bazaar. So Hedwig has to kind of deal with that distraction as well. It's really, it really comes down to a story of self-acceptance and self-love and you know, that that's the main I, I can't wait to see it. I've seen the movie, it's haven't seen fun. the show. Um, at the very end, we'll show you a little sneak peek, peek video um, so you get a little idea of how amazing, I mean, the talent yeah. is beyond amazing. So the show is about love and acceptance, but it also focuses on glam rock. Yes. So that is the theme of today's episode 88 of Bizarre Shopping Network, and we do have a lot of glam rock things at the bazaar and Brian's gonna help me share them with you so we're gonna start because <laughs> I'm obsessed with this guy this is one of oh, oh you can't see his whole face this is one of Susie Kalen's troll dolls there we go <laughs> it's like kiss I guess and it doesn't get more glam rock than that we're doing a really bad job yeah, we're that's trying. okay we're trying that's all that but counts you know what's really important when you're a glam rock star? Shades. Shades. Yeah. Gotta have shades. Yep. These are from Pink Sebastian Boutique. She has tons of great shades. The price point's really crazy low, so come check out all her fabulous things. And while I'm modeling, look at this. It says, what does it say? Ripped, ripped off, off by Chanel. Chanel. How fun is that, right? Cute. This is from That's Nice. She also has these rock star earrings. Whoa. Aren't those cool? They are cool. So they can also go on top of your Christmas tree. Oh, multi-purpose jewelry. Uh -huh. I love it. We, accessories that you can use at Christmas time. <laughs> All year round. This is also <laughs> from That's Nice. Only $14. I talk about our price points are amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Check this out, Brian. Oh, wow. So we pulled these because it's, you know, it's your traditional beautiful seashell, but Colleen, like, rocked it out, yeah. right? Yeah, it it's, has a shine to it. Yeah, glam rock. You cannot have too much bling in your life. These are miniature little artwork, ready to go, wow. custom made, $25. Wow. These are so pretty. Framed, ready to go. A bargain. And I pulled this, okay. This is from Indulgence by Dina. It is organic sugar facial wax kit. Now, I'm going back to us. There is something about sugar that is in the show yes. because the bar, Hamlet's will not be open before the show, but the bar will be. So at six o'clock, the bar opens mm -hmm. and they had requested a specialty drink called the sugar, sugar daddy. daddy. Oh, I should have showed a picture. It's oh, um, it's pink and pretty and has gummy bears in it. And it's delicious. Yeah. And um, you'll need to do a sugar facial after you wear all the makeup that these shows wear. But right. any secrets that you can share about why sugar daddies, or do we need to wait to see the show? You just have to wait. You just it's very, it's it's one of my favorite numbers in the show. Okay, so it's a musical it's, number. Yeah, it's really bright and fun, and I gave Luke a cowbell. Awesome. So, you know, can't go wrong there. Can't go wrong with the cowbell. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can get your Indulgence by Dina Sugar Facial Wax Kit. She also has these amazing lip glosses. Because if you want to be a glam rock star, you got to have the lipstick on. But check these out. They light up. Ooh. Ooh. And they have <laughs> a mirror. Whoa. So it is very practical to put your lipstick on in a dark bar with these. These are Love Light Lips with Indulgence by Dina. She also has, check this out, it is 24, 24 karat gold eye serum. That's like legit, Whoa. right? Fancy. 
And also while we're down here, I am so in love with this necklace. You oh, can't, wow. It is from H&M Jewelry. There you go. She's got amazing statement pieces. Ooh. And her price points are so low. Look at this one. I mean, that, talk about a statement piece. You could pair this with like a white t-shirt mm -hmm. and just be ready to come see the opening night at the Hedwig. Yes. And it's a Joan Rivers piece. Oh, I don't know the price on it. That's so funny. It's a, a Joan, Joan Rivers, Rivers piece. piece. It is, looks like it. Aw. Love Joan, Joan Rivers. Rivers. <laughs> and ice candles. We talk about them a lot because we love them. They're the greatest candles ever. John has a patent on it. You've seen it, Yeah, right? we buy them every time we come in. So you know they have clear wax, so mm -hmm. there's no black soot. And yep. he has also taken some of the, what do you call these? The base. The or base, a... the, the candle display. And he has glammed them up. So these are beautiful ice candles in glam base. Oh, that one's heavy. Look at this one. Pretty. And they light up so pretty too when you light them since they're clear. They look like crystals when they burn. Yeah. So John at Ice Candle has some glam rock candles. Great gifts. Obviously, you don't give them away. They're in your house. Right. That's okay. We, yeah. we do a lot of that here. We gift it to ourselves. And um, you haven't seen this, Brian. I've been treated. It looks like you. <laughs> it does look like me. What I didn't show was a lot of pictures um, that Amanda sent me of Brian from behind. I'm like, why is he bending over so much? I thought you were never supposed to put your back to the stage. Well, it's the best part of me. That's why, <laughs> that's why everybody buys tickets. They want to see my flat butt. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I think you hang it on the wall. I think you hang it's it on the cute. wall. Let's go to the close-up. Maybe It is from Creative Hands of Sarasota. That literally looks like my Mr. Braithwaite costume. <laughs> that's like exactly what I wore. So, I believe you hang it on the wall and it's either decor or maybe you hang your dish towels on it. I I don't we, know. We don't know, but it's cute. <laughs> but it's fun and it reminds so if you want a reminder of Brian every day in your house, this you have to have. We'll have to make more of them. Yes. Everybody's gonna want one. They, it's gonna be a bestseller. I know. Here <laughs> <at the> bizarre. <laughs> so caricatures in quotes, you know what? I am farther away than I'm used to being. Um Let's see if we can get these on the close-up. Caricatures on quotes has all sorts of rock star caricatures with uh, great expressions. Can you read that? Let me see. Live for each second without hesitation. Elton John. I love John. Elton John. Who's this? That's Prince. Ooh. Money won't buy you happiness, but it will pay for the search. <laughs> <laughs> Share. Did you just snort? <laughs> I did. I snort when I laugh. Don't shame me. Um, unless you unless you risk looking foolish, you never have the possibility of being great. Oh, Share. So true. Whoa. Life is short, and you've got to get the most out of it. Gwen Stefani. And I love pink. You can't move mountains by whispering at them. Pink. That's true. Oh, love. These are all so great. Ready to frame. And speaking of share. Who has a broken arm, and I think Barbara um, tried to glue it back together. We'll have to get the story on this, but you know, yeah. if you need, I, I, I'm sure it's vintage because it's from Creative Hands of Sarasota. It's really fun. It's really fun. <laughs> Everybody needs a share doll with glued arms. <laughs> She's really selling it. Yeah, I'm really selling it. <laughs> you need this in your home. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to also ask you, Lisa from Eye Catchers by PJ's Boutique just got in this, she's got, she's starting to get her transitioning into fall outfits. This is incredible. This is the back. Um, Brian is doing a fabulous Vanna White impersonation, but it's got the wings, little lightweight camo print. You want to flip it around. Really easy to wear. Yeah, little drawstrings, little drawstrings at the bottom. I love having something, I keep something like this in my car all the time because I know we live in Florida and it's super hot, but you go into a restaurant yeah. and Or a theater. Cold. Or a theater. Hopefully this will stay nice and cold. You need, the, oh, this would be perfect for someone to wear to yeah. have. 
All right, y'all. I guess someone should come by. Someone it. needs to come by this. If you don't have your tickets Ooh. already for Hedwig, get them. If you have your tickets already, get this outfit. If you don't have them and you get them, still get that because it's a really cool jacket yeah. from Eye Catches by Peaches. And the one arm chair. You and need that. Too. Yes, you need the one arm chair. And um, we've got a really cute t shirt here. I sweat champagne. We brought it in because of the bling. It's open back. This would, oh, this would actually look really cute under that jacket. I think it matches. Mm. Although, maybe we'll let the styling to you and Lisa. Um, <laughs> and finally, a couple more things. We have a lot of glam rock stuff. Yeah. You know Karen. Yes. Karen is our pop artist queen. This painting totally looked like a rock star to me. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah, a lot of her stuff does. She does that really cool. Really cool style. style yeah. This is done on wood. It hangs on a wall, ready to frame. She's and she's got some new pieces in. So y'all definitely need to come mm -hmm. check out her new pieces. The fabulous guitar is a reminder that Music Compound has their satellite location here. They have classes for all ages. So maybe you can learn to guitar and tap dance. At the same time. At the same time. Wouldn't that be impressive? I, can you do that? No. Can you play guitar? <laughs> no, I cannot. So you need to trade out lessons. There we go. Teach them how to tap dance and take guitar lessons. Perfect. So thank you so much for watching. Hedwig. Hedwig. Opens Friday, Saturday for the next three weeks, y'all. There, this is a limited space. There's only, I think, about 60, 60, 60 seats. 60 seats in here. So. I, tonight's oversold, so, I mean, not tonight, tomorrow. tomorrow. Opening night is sold out, so you snooze, you lose, people. Yep. Get your tickets Only now. Only six performances. We run through September 11th, and Hamlet's will be serving yeah, so alcohol. We, yeah, we've got beer, we've got wine, we've got the sugar daddy specialty drinks. We've got, ooh, I picked up some rum and vodka to put on top of the water ice. Ooh. And Uncle Phil will be here with his popcorn, so we won't let you be hungry. Mm. Come early, hang out with us before the show. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Brian, I love you. I love you. Thanks for coming. I love Don't go away though, because I am about to give you a little preview. Uh, this is Luke performing one of the songs uh -huh. yep, Luke and that you'll see in the show. So enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs>